A happy final day of the year, everybody. Four to one declining to advancing stocks, but volume's been light all throughout the week. Uh, we start uh, the day pretty much the way it looked a few months ago, uh, with uh, tech in the lead, tech up 40 percent this year. China also in the lead, one of the best performing markets in the year. I like to use MCHI. That's the broad China market, mainland China, Hong Kong, and stocks listed here in the U.S. like Alibaba. That's up about 26 percent for the year. China, one of the best markets of the year. And of course, what else? Energy down. We're down, oh, what, 35 percent for energy on the year. Banks Nice run in the second half, but still down about 13 percent for uh, the year. Uh, and some other sectors also a little bit on the weak side today, consumer staples. Uh, at this point, folks, there's a lot of exuberance out there. And I've counted the ways a number of times. Let me just remind everybody that this is pretty extreme right now. We not only have record stock prices, we have record ETF inflows. And I follow inflows as an alternative way of looking at exuberance. And folks, they're throwing money at ETFs at certain sectors of the market right now. Uh, we also have very high record margin debt levels that are out there. We have very high investor uh, exuberance uh, that's out there. Uh, we have some record high value metrics, for, for some metrics like price to cash flow, uh, record highs as well. So this is pretty exuberant right now. And you shouldn't be asking what's going right in 2021. With your, if you're an investor with prices at this high, you should be asking what's going to go wrong because that's really the issue here. So the short-term thing, obviously, that everybody knows about is the higher taxes issue if the Democrats win the Senate. We'll figure that out very, very soon. But obviously, there are other issues out there. The vaccine rollout could, could stumble or falter. Uh, we could also have second-half inflation. Some people are championing that idea because we're all going to go out and spend like crazy uh, beginning in the second half of the year. That's a little bit out there. But I think the biggest problem is we don't know what the big unknown is out there. With prices this high, the pain trade, the trade that would cause the greatest pain to the most people, is clearly lower here. So remember, the market's at new highs. Bad news is going to move the market a lot more than move the market down. A lot more than good news is going to move the market up here. So we priced in an awful lot of good news and should be looking at what could possibly be going wrong. Uh, so one thing is it's obvious for the market is we're expecting a huge rebound in earnings. I can do this many, many ways, but the simple way is to look at the dollar value of the S&P. 162 was a record back in 2019. We dropped down in the 130s today, and you see that big rebound to 167. That would be a new high for 20, new record 2021. But those are the whisper numbers are much higher. There are people at 175, 180, uh, and a lot of people are north of 200 for 2022. So uh, this, a lot of things are expected to go right. The market is pricing in a lot of things going really well without a hiccup. But we haven't had a hiccup in the market since October. It's been essentially straight up. So far, the bull scenario has been playing out. But it's pricey. This, things aren't giving anything back, folks. Even these cyclical stocks, you think they give back a little after having such a run. But no, we're uh, 2 3 4% off of the, the highs that we've seen for most of these stocks. We talked yesterday about Honeywell, 26 times 2021 earnings, Caterpillar, 25. These are numbers you haven't seen in years. The market's really, really pricey and really stretched and not giving a lot back here. In terms of the big themes for 2020, it's very, very simple. Boy, did everybody want to own thematic technology ETFs, anything, solar stocks, online retail stocks, um, lithium and battery uh, components, uh, e-sports, uh, cloud computing, anything. They were massive amounts of creations for the ETFs around this space because that's the way they want to own. They wanted to own these stocks in themes, in groups and through ETFs. That was the big story. Finally, we should just know with all this exuberance, the laggards that were out there, uh, the destruction, and I know Mike was talking about this earlier, but the destruction of the oil stocks like Occidental uh, and Exxon uh, this year. Oil stocks are now essentially 2% of the S&P 500. It was double digits even less than 10 years ago. And of course, the destruction in the travel and leisure industry, airlines to cruise lines, to mall operators that you see like Simon Property Group, even though they recovered a little bit uh, in the fourth quarter, uh, you can see it's been a pretty awful year. The only thing we all can agree on is 2021 is going to be a much better year. And looking forward to being with all three of you guys. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.